Hello everybody, my name is Mike Geig and in this video we are going to be looking at basic mouse input in Allegro 5. So what we see here is nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, we have our primitives and our standard Allegro header. Uh, we have our width and our height. Uh, we have our done variable uh, for our game loop. We have position X and position Y for an object that we're drawing. And then finally we have an event source for the display. Um, and then inside of our game loop here, we're just checking to see if we click the red X on the display and we're drawing a cube. So that's it. So basically I took the keyboard inputs uh, project and just removed the keyboard elements. So when I press play here, um, we've got nothing appearing um, because we've received no events um, and then just the red X closes it there. So, okay, so that's what we have so far. So to use the mouse, uh, we just first off have to install it like we did the AL in the or install uh, keyboard. We got to do AL install mouse. That allows us to use our mouse, and then we need to register our mouse as an event source. So I'm gonna do AL register event source into our event queue. Uh, we're gonna do AL get mouse event source and that will get the mouse so that we can uh, utilize that our program here okay so we're set up now that's it I mean it's fairly simple so far uh, the program is now ready to use mouse inputs so now all we have to do is we have to actually go ahead and and tell it what events to listen for so what I'm gonna do first here is here's my uh, here's my uh, window closing uh, portion or event there. I'm going to add an else if and I'm going to do ev.type equals, oh hey it would be alright if I had the right parenthesis there. Uh, I'm going to do allegro event mouse axes. And essentially what that's doing is the event's going to fire whenever I move my mouse. Uh, if my mouse is within the window, and that's important, this event doesn't fire if I'm moving my mouse outside of, of the window that pops up. If I'm moving my mouse around inside of the window, um, it registers the, the position of the mouse, uh, that it has changed, the, one of the axes has changed, uh, and, and fires off this event. And so what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to build a, a primitive mouse cursor, if you will, just to show off the, the, the position of the mouse. So I'm going to do uh, position x. Uh, is going to equal ev.mouse.x so that is the x value of the mouse currently and I'm going to do position y equals ev.mouse.y alright and then here's the drawing code you've seen this this is uh, straight from the uh, uh, the keyboard input we're just drawing a square at position x and position y so I'm going to go ahead and run this here and you see, I'm moving my mouse outside of the screen, nothing. I move my mouse inside the screen, and look at that. We're firing off those events, and it is updating the, the square to wherever my mouse is. And it's like, a, uh, it's like an impromptu cursor. Um, and so every, uh, every time I move my mouse, uh, the square is getting updated with the X and Y position of my mouse. Uh, buttons don't do anything yet, but we will look at that. One thing you will notice is that you can still see my computer cursor. right? Um, so that hasn't gone away. We can turn that off. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me turn that off just because it, it's annoying if I want to have an in-game mouse to have the, the default operating system mouse showing. So I'm going to do AL hide. And of course, I'm calling this outside of the while loop. I don't want this to happen over and over and over again. AL hide mouse cursor. And I'll tell, give it the display so it knows not to draw on the mouse cursor on the display. So I'm going to hit run here. And now, no mouse cursor. I see my mouse cursor is outside the window. No mouse cursor inside the window, just the square. Uh, and we have our impromptu uh, cursor there. Okay, great. Okay, so the last thing we want to look at with the mouse is the buttons. And the buttons work a, a little bit differently here. So what I want to do is I'm going to add my next event type. And I'm going to do else if ev.type equals, oh yeah, it's going to be okay. Allegro event mouse button down and likewise you can do mouse button up. Wow, I really messed that up. So 
happens when I'm not paying attention while I type. Okay, so uh, if we press the mouse button, um, and let's let's give our, our, our right mouse button something to do. So I can do if uh, if ev dot mouse dot button, which returns a, a, an unsigned bit value um, for the the state of the the mouse condition, uh, the the left and the right button. Um, unlike traditional uh, programming uh, lists, uh, the mouse in Allegro, uh, the, the left button is 1, not 0. So it's a 1 indexed array, if you will. Everything starts at 1, not with 0 on the mouse. So left mouse button is 1, the right mouse button is 2. So if I want to test the right mouse button, I have to type in ev.mouse.button ampersand, uh, the bit operator, 2. So that I know I'm working with the, the, the right mouse button. And it's a boolean, so if, if it is down, you know, that'll equal true, otherwise it will equal false. And if I hit the right button, I just want to do done equals true. So this program will exit if I hit the right mouse button. So I'm going to run this, and here we go, there's our program. Uh, left mouse button, nothing. Right mouse button outside of the window, of course that means I closed my window down there. Um, right mouse button inside the window, bam. Okay, and it closes. So that's real cool. Let's let's do one more thing with the less left mouse button. What I want to do is I want to be able to turn my cursor on and off with the left left mouse button. So I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to create another value, another boolean value called draw. And what I want to do is I only want to draw the cube when draw equals true, and if it's false, I don't want to draw. And I'll come back up here and I'll do else if e v dot mouse dot button ampersand one for the left mouse button draw equals not draw so that'll just toggle drawing on and off and we run that and I hit the left mouse button square is gone but I click it again and it's back and you'll notice the square position say I'm going to be right up here now I'm over here uh, the mouse position still updates while it's not drawing it simply just does not draw well, I have that boolean value turned off. So there you go. Right click, close the window again. So in a nutshell, that's mouse uh, uh, input. Uh, in my opinion, significantly easier than keyboard input, only because the mouse, if you look at it, is just two axes, maybe a scroll wheel, and a couple of buttons. Keyboard has all sorts of varieties and possibilities to it. So um, that's mouse input in Allegro 5. And that will do it for our series on input in Allegro.